Good day everyone. Today, we are here to present to you our action research entitled Project Program Remediation and Intervention for Students in Mathematics, an intervention material for non-numerates and emergent. I am Mr. Maximino M. Garcia Jr. together with my co-researchers Mr. Paul Jan Ardilas Alas and Mrs. Mary Grace G. Garcia. The significance of numeracy cannot be overstated as it empowers individuals to confidently and efficiently use mathematical concepts to meet the demands of daily life. However, despite its importance, there is a noticeable gap in numeracy skills among learners, leading to difficulties in handling numbers and solving mathematical problems. In the Philippines, the state of numeracy among learners is of particular concern as evidenced by consistently low scores in mathematics assessment. The results of numeracy tests in the Seno West 1 Elementary School have shown that a significant number of students continue to struggle with basic numeracy skills. The present status of the performance of the learners led the researchers to conduct the study to achieve, if not zero, non-numerate learners but to minimize the emergent and non-numerates, particularly in grade 4 of the Seno West 1 Elementary School where the researchers are currently teaching. The key to mathematical competence is learning with understanding so that learners can reason solve problems and apply their learning to new situations. Witzel et al. of 2016 in their book entitled Teaching Elementary Mathematics to Struggling Learners pointed out that pupils need to be computationally fluent to carry out mathematical procedures flexibly, accurately, efficiently, and appropriately. This understanding must be continually reinforced and expanded throughout their educational experiences. For our intervention, this action research used teacher learner and parent learner as strategies in the implementation of this project prism. Learners were meet during the scheduled day for an hour. On the other hand, parents were also part of this program. Parents were asked also for one hour every Wednesday to have a parent learner session after class in the afternoon. For monitoring purposes and conduct of sessions, the researchers had their group chat intended only for parents and learners under this program. Through Messenger Room or Google Meet, the researchers facilitated a group learning sessions. In this program, teachers use simple activities and materials developed by math teachers focusing on basic operations. Since they are grade 4, the materials and activities focus on the application of multiplication and division. For our sub-problems, this action research project conducted within the grade 4 population of the Seno West 1 Elementary School seeks to address numeracy gaps through Project PRISM, Program Remediation and Intervention of Students in Mathematics. The study aims to achieve the following objectives. Numeracy levels of the grade 4 learners in the Seno West 1 Elementary School, effects of Project PRISM towards enhancing their basic numeracy skills, Significant difference in the performance of the learners who underwent the numeracy program as revealed by pretest and post-test scores, and proposed action plan for intervention to improve numeracy. This study was completed using a quantitative method of research. 40 students participated in this study based on the results of numeracy level test using the various exercises and techniques employed by the researchers. Weighted arithmetic mean and t-test dependent were employed to treat the data statistically. For the results of our study, the table shows 33 emergent and 7 non-numerate learners in grade 4, even though the number of non-numerates was not alarming with reference to the number of enrollees in grade 4, the researchers still need to eliminate the emergent and non-numerate numbers and become average numerates. Moreover, this table shows the effects of Project PRISM in enhancing the numeracy basic skills of grade 4 learners who underwent the numeracy remediation and intervention program. The responses of the participants further validated the significant improvement of the learners in terms of the effectiveness of the program. Specifically, the learners strongly agree that Project PRISM helps them improve their numeracy basic skills, helps them in performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with correct results and feel more confident to solve word problems involving any of the four fundamental operations with a weighted arithmetic mean of 3.83, 3.45, and 3.34 respectively, which shows that the program is very much effective. Generally, based on the results, the numeracy program was found effective. 
All learners agree that because of the numeracy program, they become more confident in performing those operations that involve those skills. Likewise, the table shows that the test result on finding the significant difference in the performance of the learners who underwent remediation and intervention under Project PRISM, as revealed by pretest and post-test scores, with a commuted t-value of 8.35 and a critical value of 2.0227, the researchers rejected the null hypothesis, which was significant at 0 0.05. It means that the results of the pretest and post-test were entirely different from each other and statistically significant. Based on the results of the study, the following recommendations are hereby presented. First, although the number of non-numerate and emergent are still manageable in comparison with the total number of learners, it is strongly advised to intensify its implementation to increase the number of average numerate and totally eradicate non-numerate since they were already in grade 4. Second, Project PRISM was proven effective in improving the basic numeracy skills of the learners. It is suggested to include other content areas in mathematics. Third, conduct a school-wide study to know the extent of its effectiveness. And fourth, is strengthen the monitoring and evaluation of the project base on what are stated in the action plan. And for the plan for research utilization, first, to be utilized in the school in all grade levels. Second, to be shared in other schools in the West District. So let me end our presentation by this quotation. Don't let learning lead to knowledge. Let your learning lead to action. By Jim Ron. That's all. Thank you.